So Jake Paul is at it again. He uploaded a video called A Conversation With My Ex-Girlfriend and it's one of those videos where the video is literally half an hour long and only around 5 minutes of it is actually relevant to the title. But the main part of this which everyone's gone on about is what he says about rice gum. So guys, time to get uh, to get a little bit serious, to get a little bit juicy. And you guys, as Jake Paulers, are probably gonna see a little bit of a side of me that I uh, never, never, ever show. So I get home uh, from from Los Angeles, and uh, I'm doing my thing, whatever. And someone asked me. They asked me if I have seen Brian Lee's new video. And if, and if you guys don't know who Brian Lee is, uh, a lot of you guys know him by his alias name uh, of of Rice Gum. His name is Brian, and that's how I'm going to address him. They were like, Yo, have you seen Brian's new video? Uh, and I was like, no, like, what, what's it about? Like, what, what's going down? I don't, I don't know. And they tell me that it, it's a video about them reacting to our new Team 10 house. Any house with an elevator just makes the house automatically cool. The thing is, though, their house is only two floors, right? And, like, take the stairs. Our house has eight floors, so sometimes going up and down, it's, like, kind of hard, so we need an elevator. Y'all got two floors, boy. And basically just, like, talking smack on everything the whole entire time. And that's totally fine. But then they proceeded to tell me that within the video, he was making making fun of, of suicide, of people committing suicide. And then a rope hanging down with like the swirly thing and then like a chair underneath, just right around there somewhere. And then he was making fun uh, of Nick Crompton and, and Tessa Brooks and body shaming them and calling them fat. That's not an elevator. Like, I'm telling you, if Tessa and Nick Crompton hopped in that it would break. I mean, it's just over capacity. And so I, I watched the video. I was just like, I was blown away. Everyone has seen recently that Brian is a, a terrible, terrible person. He is a scumbag. Well, there's a language that I, Jake Paul calling someone else a scumbag. That is the most hypocritical thing I've ever heard. Let's not forget that this guy used YouTube as a platform to try and destroy FaZe Banks' career. To, he lied about FaZe Banks assaulting someone to try and destroy his career. And he calls Vice Gum a scumbag. His mom, iDubs, made a video about him. Basically, I said everything that this scumbag, this terrible human being has ever done. Dude, you are a terrible, terrible, terrible human being. The hypocriticism is so real with Jake Paul. Like, he's literally going out of his way to make a video about Weisscum, claiming that Weisscum's a scumbag, when Jake Paul isn't exactly much better. Like, dude, Jake Paul, you literally do worse things than my scum and you're here calling him a scumbag. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Idubs then proceeds in the rest of that video to expose him more and more and more and more. We don't even have to get into all of that because it doesn't involve me. Brian's most recent video has extremely touched me and hurt me in a many different ways. He could say whatever he wants about me. I don't respond to hate. But isn't that what you're doing right now, Jake? Like, my scum in this video was saying about how bad your house is or whatever and he's basically hating on your house and now you're here saying I don't respond to hate but that is exactly what you're doing you're literally just responding to hate in this video like you kind of contradicted yourself there I don't care about the hate people can hate on me all they want I make fun of myself I made a whole entire diss track on myself that's great like I'm not going anywhere like hate, hate all you want on me but when you start to talk about things and people that I care about that are my family in a demeaning way and you don't stop and he, he never stops. Every week, every video he posts is something new involving my family members, involving me, involving talking about subjects in, in a terrible way. The one example is like the rape thing. Like, how, how can you support, how can you even make fun of that as a human being? And you guys know me, I never respond to the hate. Like, I have more than enough hate to respond to, and I never respond to it because that's not the way to handle things. People shouldn't be like beefing over the internet and like going back and forth and back and forth. I mean, Jake does have a point here, you know, people shouldn't be beefing over the internet back and forth and back and forth, you know? This isn't about the hate, this isn't about the beef. This is about this kid, Brian Lee, who has this platform where he promotes negativity and things to his fans that should not be allowed to be made fun of or talked about in that type of way. And so for me, it's about stopping that. So I start to watch the video. The first thing I notice is that Brian has my post notifications turned on on his YouTube channel. So Brian, thank you so much for being a Jake Pauler. <laughs> But they start to make fun of the Team 10 house, whatever, blah, 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 blah. I proceed to watch the video. I'm sorry, I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm like baffled. He starts to make 
fun of suicide. And by implying that I should kill myself or, or, or people in the team 10 house should kill themselves. And then a rope hanging down with like the swirly thing and then like a chair underneath, just right around there somewhere. Or what do you think? I think you should put like vanity to do your makeup. Yeah. Yeah, I think that could be really useful. There you go. Whether he's joking or not, he needs to be called out for these actions. This is unacceptable. Hundreds of thousands of families are affected by suicide every single year. It's not something to joke about or, or even to encourage anyone to do. Yep, 100% agree with you, Jake. It is nothing to encourage or to joke about. Also, just a quick note on the legitimacy of that uh, screenshot there. Uh, I'm not too sure if it's legit or not. I saw it in a reply to a tweet. Um, it seems pretty legit. I looked through Jake's old tweets and I can't find it. But uh, the profile picture is square. And uh, obviously Twitter changed their profile picture so that they were circles. So that just makes this... That, 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 that might make this tweet legit. Like the fact that... I don't know if you can inspect element it to be a different dimension of profile picture and shape so i think it's pretty legit he talks about how nick and tessa are fat and he's body shaming them again more hypocrisy from jake oh it's just one muffin why not i guess it's time to go work out now no, it's be cool. yeah let's do it no, and as wise comes in his response Things like Jake, he actually planned it out and he scripted that and everything, but Ryscum just said it out of the blue. Like, there's a difference between writing it and like acting it out and then just saying it out of the blue. You're setting a terrible example for every kid who watches your videos. So let's just do a quick comparison of both the channels, right? So Ryscum, 8 million subscribers, 1 billion views, right? Jake Paul, 11 million subscribers, 2 billion views, right? So making Jake more popular on the site. Ricegum averages 1 to 3 million views a day. Jake Paul averages 5 million plus a day. Making Jake more popular. Meaning that Jake is setting more of a bad example with what he does. Combat against these people who think it's okay to make fun of suicide. So you're competing against yourself then Jake I see. Nice one. But in your video, you started comparing us. You started saying that, oh, our house is this, your house is that. Don't ever compare me to your sorry ass. I bought this house with my own damn money. You're paying rent for one room within that house. You don't even have enough money to buy a house in California. So he calls out why scum for comparing him and Jake together. And then he proceeds to compare him and Rice together, like, what the fuck? Like, he literally says to Rice come, don't compare us, and then, he, and then he proceeds to compare them. Like, Jake, do you have one brain cell? And I know your merch sales aren't but if you are wearing his merch, that means you support all of this negativity and all that bad stuff, which makes you not cool in my books. So if you wear Jake Paul merch, that means you support Jake Paul, which makes you not good in my books, because Jake Paul does illegal stuff on camera and puts it on YouTube, so... You know, I mean, it doesn't really make sense. It's crazy how you guys want to copy us and create your little clout gang when I have made everyone that is in clout gang. So he claims to have made everyone that's in clout gang. Boom. FaZe Banks, uh, who is the manager of FaZe, established in 2010. Uh, obviously, Vice Gum was banging views before Jake was even relevant. He was getting like a million views on Jacob Sartorius videos before Jake was even relevant. Alyssa Violet is still successful now, so, nah. Brian, you don't have a car while I'm out here in California riding around in cars that spit flames. Again, Jake is comparing, which he said not to do. Like, this guy has no brain cells. And anyway, after that, he just talks about just random stuff, like, about Weiss's mum and the girl that was in Weiss's video and all that stuff. And it's, it's pretty irrelevant to the other part of the topic but anyway uh that's it follow me on twitter and instagram and that's it peace we're changing the world for the better 